Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand array of pointers to strings in C. The concept of array of strings has already been discussed in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. Because the concept that we are going to understand, uh, the, co the concepts that we are going to discuss are based upon the examples that we have seen in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video. And every video in our channel is going to be part of enter course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to this class we'll try to understand about array of pointers to strings so i'm going to stress some words again and again in this video to have better understanding okay so uh, as we have discussed in our previous example we have seen array of uh, uh, array of strings so here we have okay so here in this example we have uh, whenever we have created this array of strings uh, at the end these uh, null values will get created so these null values only one null value is sufficient for us to understand that this is the end of the string but uh, these empty spaces are filled with null values and this is a waste of space see here this is also waste of space right so uh, in order to declare the same concept of declaring the array of strings we can we can use another method method called array of pointers to strings but the only difference is as we have discussed that pointer to a string is going to be a constant we cannot modify but we can access if you need to access just need to access the values then we can use the other method of declaring this array of strings uh, in another form called array of pointers to strings array of pointers to strings okay so that can be done by using this declaration so try to understand we'll try to understand the declarations with that we are going to get a, a, a lot of clarity so what the declaration states is this declaration states that so in this declaration in this part of the declaration here uh, which one is having highest precedence these brackets is having highest precedence with these brackets we are going to understand that that is an array array of four elements and means four underscore planets is an array of four elements which contains pointers this star next we are going to understand next we are going to consider this pointer so with this star we are going to understand that these four planets is an array of pointers of pointers which are pointing to which are pointing to array of characters which are pointing each pointer is pointing to array of characters which means that it is a string okay try to get that point so here four planets is an array see here here four planets is an array and this array is of pointers this array consists of pointers each element is going to contain pointers and they these addresses pointers means addresses right so they are going to point to these pointers will always going to point to point to strings these pointers are going to point to characters because we have mentioned them in double quotes they are going to be strings okay so these pointers are pointing to strings i am stressing this and i am i am trying to uh, explain it as slow as possible to get the better understanding okay so i think no need to explain it uh, again so uh, okay so the same thing is done but this is how so this entire line of code is going to be created in this way so the advantage that we are going to get one more advantage that we are going to get is here we don't uh, have these extra null spaces only uh, the end uh, space is one extra space is created and that one single extra space we are going to create that uh, null pointer okay so this is how the things will get created but the only difference is for this uh, array of strings to array of uh, pointers to strings the only difference is whenever a string is pointed uh, whenever uh, a string is declared to a pointer of uh, uh, to a pointer we have already discussed that is going to be a string constant we can access the values but we cannot modify 
ओके एज दे आर स्ट्रिंग कॉन्स्टेंट्स वी कैनॉट एसेन देम एसेन देम बाई यूजिंग द वी कैनॉट एसेन देम बाई यूजिंग द फॉर लुक वी हैव टू डिक्लेयर देम विथ इन द इनिशियल विथ इन द डिक्लेरेशन वी हैव टू इनिशियलाइज बट यूजिंग द फॉर लुक एंड गेट्स और स्कैन एफ इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल बिकॉज दे आर स्ट्रिंग कॉन्स्टेंट कॉन्स्टेंट्स वी कैनॉट इन द रन टाइम वी कैनॉट एसेन द मेमोरी लोकेशंस okay so this is this is how only this initializations are possible but using the gets or scan of we cannot uh, give the user to give the uh, uh, constant values okay so now uh, this for loop this we have already covered this is going to see uh, the elements which are going to print uh, the planets whose uh, name start with with m will get printed so this we have already discussed in our previous video okay the point that you have to understand is arrays of pointers to string so that point is very this this declaration point is very important to understand and one more point is they are string constants so they cannot be they can be accessed but they cannot be modified okay so this is all about if you if you run this program uh, we are going to get the output same as that we have seen in our previous video hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching